Welcome to episode eight of Project W, where we are taking you on a journey to create more opportunities, sales, and growth for your business using walmart.com. We are showing you how to sell your Amazon products on walmart.com using these same simple methods. I'm Carrie Miller with Helium 10. And I'm Tim Jordan with Private Label Legion. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about one of the most popular, and I'd say frequent questions that people have about selling on any marketplace even walmart.com, which is how to rank your products organically. So now we have a listing. We have everything inserted in the seller center. We have a product that's technically on walmart.com. And now we want to start increasing the visibility. If people can't find our product, of course, we're not going to sell it. And of course, we're not going to make any money. And that's a bummer. Yeah. So there's a lot of different components that go into the ranking on walmart.com. We can't get into all of them, but we're going to cover probably 90% of the yeah. equation in this episode. In no particular order, let's start going through them. So the first one is Carrie's forte, which is optimization. Yeah. So you definitely want to have your listing optimized. And we went through the guides with you. So make sure that you are following all of the guidelines and doing the best that you can to put those really important keywords in there and just writing a really nice listing that a customer is going to be convinced to buy your product. Um, so also, I think we learned that the category and product type is really important. So make sure that if you get errors, kind of like we did, that you follow up on that issue and make sure that you do get it in the right product category for your product. And don't cheat on the photos. We saw in our LQS that Walmart loved our photos and we've said it like probably 26 times by now, we'll say mm -hmm. it again, the photos are basically the only thing that people see immediately yeah. without scrolling past your competitors, so make sure that you're doing that. Yep. So another component that helps you rank organically extremely well is the Walmart Plus badge. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk a little bit about the qualifications to get that in the next episode, which is logistics, but it's kind of like having the Prime badge on Amazon. You know that if you have the Prime badge, you're going to rank higher for a specific keyword than someone that may not have that. So mm -hmm. make sure that you can try to get that Walmart Plus badge. It's not a deal breaker if you don't, but it is one of the components that Walmart has openly said. If you have this, it increases the kind of buyer's experience when they're purchasing this product. They're showing that badge prominently and it will help you get ranked. Also, fast shipping is really important and they really prefer two-day shipping and think, you, know, you offer that with Walmart Fulfillment Services. But as you saw when we were going through all the listings, you can actually see on the main search page where it says three plus day shipping or one day shipping or you know pick up it and there's a lot of different factors that are going to encourage a customer to actually click on your listing and shipping is a really big one because we're all spoiled we want stuff quickly we're really impatient they just they've made us this way unfortunately so um <laughs> if you have a really long shipping rate and somebody needs the product really quickly they're probably not going to click on your listing so make sure that you offer fast shipping for that customer experience. And we'll tell you how to do that more in the next episode. The next thing, and I would almost say the biggest contributor to ranking success is purchases, right? If people are buying your product, if they're purchasing it, mm -hmm. if they are looking for a specific keyword and selecting yours among all the other options, that is one of the strongest indicators to Walmart that you have got the best selection for that search, right? So if you don't have good pricing and people aren't purchasing, if you don't have a good offer, if you don't have a good product, if you don't have all those details listed, not just for optimizing with the keywords and everything we talked about the LQS, but if you don't have all of the details and options and offers within your listing that will make someone physically purchase that product, mm -hmm. you're missing a really, really big opportunity. Marketplace ranking has been a huge conversation for years now. Mm -hmm. And time and time again, all of the hacks, all of the tricks, all of the manipulative things kind of come and go. But the one thing that is always constant is that true conversions, people actually buying your product is going to help rank your product faster. Yep. And what we're seeing on Walmart is that that's even more important than some of the other platforms yeah. that we've dabbled with before. 100%, yeah, conversions is the goal for everything that we're doing here. Yep. So another component to ranking is your views and traffic. So your internal PPC, and your external traffic. So internal PPC is something you can easily get started and that's really important for more visible visibility at the top um, and even at the bottom of the search pages. So PPC is very important and then also external traffic is a, another driver for your ranking. So that's, you know, off off of Walmart ads like Google, social blogs, press releases and influencers even can help you, you know, by sending traffic from the outside. 
And we all know that you know a lot of these platforms really do like to see that you're driving external traffic. So that's definitely something that is going to help your ranking. And that's nothing new to any of you. Any of you that have been selling online or you know, whether it's a marketplace or a platform, whatever, know that external traffic's massively important. And as we talked about with the partnerships, Walmart shows us time and time again that not only do they prefer traffic, but they want to work with those other platforms like Google. Mm -hmm. So Google Ads continuously prioritize Walmart listings over most other marketplaces because they are working so well together. So there's a lot of information. You can look at massive amounts of Helium 10 content and podcasts and all that stuff to figure out all the different ways that people are driving traffic. The moral of the story is all of that traffic is important and it absolutely works to drive ranking for Walmart. Yes. Now, the other hot topic, I would say like more than hot, like really hot topic in marketplace selling is reviews. Yep. The more reviews you can get, the higher consumer confidence there is for your listing, so the more likely people are to actually purchase your product, but also the marketplace algorithms seem to highly prioritize the number of reviews and the rankings as it pertains to deciding where they're gonna show up your product on a search result list. Now, Walmart is a little bit, I'd almost say silent yeah. about the review process. They don't have a whole lot of rules. They don't have a whole lot of stipulations. But one of the really cool things that they have is something Carrie's going to explain. It's yeah. called review syndication. Yes, yeah, so the review syndication is basically where you can take all of your reviews, maybe from Shopify, if you have a Shopify site, and they'll actually move it over using Yotpo. So Yotpo is an external company that they've partnered with. So. I mean, that's just an amazing, incredible way that you can get those easy first reviews because it is usually the biggest question that I get is, how do I get more reviews? How do I get more reviews? Well, Walmart's going to allow you to use Yotpo to literally just bring them over from the other marketplaces you have. I, I do believe it's mainly Shopify, but you can always you know see if they're allowing some other reviews to come onto the platform. But definitely a great thing and so much easier than all the other tactics that we've all probably used in the past. <laughs> I haven't used any of those tactics. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Charles. All right, so when it comes to ranking on Walmart, just like any other platform, there's only one constant. And that constant is that nothing is constant. <laughs> Everything changes, whether it's the features and the look and the user experience on Walmart that's constantly being adjusted. We also know that the algorithm is being adjusted constantly. And we don't know all the little bits and pieces. We don't know all the fine indicators of what Walmart's trying to do or looking at or using a decision-making piece. We don't know. But we are absolutely confident that as long as you stick to the basics, all right, stick to the basics, stick to the tried and true methods that we all understand, your conversions, mm -hmm. your sales, outside traffic, inside traffic, getting some sales which will create like the steamroller effect, right? Creating sales velocity, getting reviews. That's all basic stuff. And as long as you stick to the basics, which works on Walmart, I think you figured out at least 90% of the ranking game. And what's really cool is, we've talked about this before, there are so few competitors for so many of these, what we would consider to be highly competitive mm -hmm. keywords and categories, that it doesn't take a whole lot of like ranking juice is that yeah. term work? You yeah. like the term ranking yeah. juice? Most yeah. people don't like that. But it doesn't take a whole lot of ranking juice to get us to one of the first couple positions for some of these extremely competitive keywords. So to review, in this episode, we covered the tried and true primary methods that you can utilize to rank on walmart.com. If you want to see all of the Project W episodes and resources, you can go to helium10.com slash project W. So on the next episode, we're gonna cover a topic that a lot of you have questions about, and that is fulfillment and logistics with walmart.com. See you guys on the next one. Bye.